beam in vain, beam that I see the gaze of those that have strayed along the way. These pretential routines I observe day by day, how do people commit to such false names? I cannot handle these disguises surrounding me anymore. This is not my home. You see, I am a child of a king, the last of the dying breed. No pretense or disguise, I am just one of a kind. It is sometimes hard to place into vocabulary form, Lord. My utter disgust of what your design has become. Shamelessness and oblivion has now become this futile society's preference. This is not my home. You see, I am a child of a king, the last of the dying breed. No pretense or disguise while you listening to what I am saying. Open your spiritual ears. You sit there and declare and decree with tears of passion in your eyes that he is worthy. Yet, you would never let God's chosen people come too close to you because you know that once they smell the concoction of your true roots that run deep in yours worth of foolishness and lies, they would discover that you were once with them but now your righteous roots have run dry. Come back to him, child. Come back to him unmasked. This is not your home. You are not brought here to play in the dome. You see, because you are a child of a king, his princess, his prince. The devil lured you into sin, gave you a dosage so strong that when God called out, you failed to stop and listen. You poor thing. Intentional blows that somehow keep you coming back for more. Who gets the last laugh now? <laughs> Says the devil when he has scored. Your ignorance has got you in so deep that fear devours your potential chance for help. So much so that you prefer to be stuck in your invested heap. What you used to view as your oyster is now seen in a lazy epiphany as an artificially lucified product where you are an unwanted foster. You left your provided sanctuary to be enslaved and building another that persuasion told you was eternal but in fact is just temporary and you face continual dissatisfaction in every decision of advancement you make having the mentality of work in progression when it's just work to be distracted by the one who promises experience and opulence. Don't you remember there were two parts you could take, one with unseen protection and the one which has led you to the harvest of your countless mistakes which you now face. This is not your home. The fruits of your labor will never be tasted if you live the life of this world. You need to make a new turn, a new pursuit of true happiness that is forever loyal and pure. Would you stop embedding yourself into the norms of this place that is not your own? Because as far as I am concerned, 